Hi guys, I'm Alex. Choosing the right yolk makes a tremendous difference to the inspector who's going to be using it over eight hours a day under difficult conditions. Here are five things to consider when choosing the right yolk for the job. The first thing to consider is the weight of the yolk. Not all yolks are weighted equally and some are twice as heavier as others. When you are using a yolk all day, a heavier yolk can slow you down about 15% and cause fatigue. This is especially true if you are inspecting surfaces overhead or in a difficult to reach area. Another factor to check is if the weight of the yolk is distributed across it. Is the yolk bottom heavy? That can make it difficult to inspect sideways. Others might require the use of two or more hands to hold the yolk steady. For example, if there's a handle here, and this effectively you might need a second operator if you're holding a yolk and trying to steady it while applying a magnetic vertical. Ergonomics are what you can consider next when choosing a yolk. Some questions to ask yourself are, how does it feel in your hand? Is it too small, too big? How does the trigger feel? Is it positioned in the right place? These are all questions that address how comfortable your work experience is going to be with the yoke in your hand. The ideal yoke allows the inspector to comfortably wield it with one hand with a body that allows the fingers to grip it tightly and a trigger that is correctly positioned for all orientations. The next question you need to ask yourself when selecting a yoke is how long does the yoke need to last? If you want to keep the yoke for a while, choose a yoke that you can easily service yourself. Be mindful of most common points of failure. So for example, the cord or the trigger. Make sure the yoke you are investing in has a cord and a trigger that you can easily replace and repair yourself. The fourth thing to consider when choosing a magnetic particle yoke is power. How easily does that yoke pass that 10 pound test? Does it pass the same test after a day of work? What about after a year? Most yokes today meet ASTM requirements for magnetizing power. However, some yokes can hold their magnetizing ability for longer than other yokes. Before any job, make sure the yoke you are using can still lift a 10 pound weight. Check for and replace rounded feet on the yoke to make sure you will always get good contact. And last but certainly not least are indications. Ask yourself, what type of indications do you need to find? Do you want to look for subsurface indications or only surface indications? It is easy to overlook the small detail, but adding DC power to a yoke means adding substantial more bulk and weight. So if you really only need to see surface indications, opt for an AC yoke instead. So in summary, there are a lot of more options today in the world of yokes than there used to be. Gone are the days when operators had to live with yokes that were uncomfortable and sometimes dangerous to use. When you choosing your next yoke, consider the factors you learned today. Pick up a few different ones and see how they feel in your hand and imagine how they would feel for a full day's work. Think about the features you really need and the ones you can live without. Consider how long you'd like the yoke to last. And with these factors in mind, you'll pick the best yoke that's right for you. That's all I got today, guys. Like and subscribe to our channel for more content and ask me any questions in the comments below that you have about yokes.